Singapore REITs are finally rebounding. We are already in our fourth week of good rebound, as what we have predicted. Well, one sector you cannot miss out is to be positioned in is the industrial sector. Now, take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at the top performing REITs in the industrial sector. Now, on the top list, you have ESR Logos REIT, Capital Land, Ascendus REIT, and essentially, Ames, APAC REITs, and that order. So in the last one month, looking at the lows that we saw on Thursday, 26 October, right up to the height on last Wednesday, you are actually seeing some of these names posting fairly good gains. One of them is actually ESR Logos REIT. It's a top performer, up 20%, ladies and gentlemen. And if you look at the chart, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that um, it's basically one of those that um, have shown a big spike up, okay, in just one month. Now, is there more to come on ESR read, or essentially are there structural reasons propelling the start of this possibly good run for ESR read? By the way, look at the chart, you know, it came down from 55 cents. So. Could it possibly be going back to 55 cents? That's what we are going to discuss in today's video. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is not an investment recommendation, but it's basically my own reckoning based on being the youngest head of research you know, in Singapore when I was uh, in 1992, when I was heading Nickel Securities. And then I went to work for Wall Street in three years. And then I came back to hate a couple of institutional sales, financial institutions. So based on what I actually have done, making a millions in real estate investment trusts, based on my own, own experience and writing my book, making a millions in real estate investment trusts. This is something that's actually very interesting that's happening in the industrial sector and possibly on ESR. So, uh, what happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that last week, you know, we actually met up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this was actually at Spago in Marina Bay Sand. Last Tuesday, uh, we had lunch with Mr. Adrian Chui, uh, the handsome gentleman. Uh, on the left side, that's the CEO of ESR Reed. Next to me, on my left, uh, is actually Ms. Charlene Chang, the head of acquisition and yeah, the management team, including Ms. Lin Ong and Ms. Xiao Qi. You know, so, of course, in between there is actually my lovely wife. Um, and essentially, there are a few things that are, that are gleaned from this wonderful lunch that I had with the management team. And um, I think it portends and look at the results. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just look at the latest set of results that was just released. You notice that one thing that really has to capture you as a REIT investor in the industrial sector is that if you look at the year-to-date rental reversion, ESR Logos REIT had a very substantial jump of 13.5% this last quarter and it's based on the last set of results as compared to the year before. Now, only the bellwether as Capital and Ascendus was able to deliver such double digit growth in terms of rental revisions. And mind you, for ESR, ladies and gentlemen, you know, not only do they enjoy rental reversion in a positive mode, you know, high, to, high, high teens, but it's almost across all sectors that they operate in. And that includes, ladies and gentlemen, the high specs industrial which was up 6.2%, or rather 8.2%, logistics assets, which is 15.2%, and uh, general industrial, which is up 10.8%, and business spark, which is up 14%. Now, in our GCP Global Investment Classes, which the last of which we actually had just last weekend, we have really told our GCP Global students in the beginning of the year that ESR will be one that's able to enjoy substantial uh, jump in the reversionary rental simply because many of the assets are actually undergoing a change in usage, particularly for example the likes of 7000 Amo Kilo Ha. You know. And moving on, ladies and gentlemen, if you look further, you'll notice that um, uh, what's
portending to be very good news is that the passing rent versus the market rent, practically for all its four sectors that it's operating in, that's high specs industrial, general industrial, business part, logistics part, uh, are all showing that the uh, rentals come up for inversion for its various assets in this four particular sectors. ESR is most likely, unless the market changes substantially, going to get a kick up further in terms of its rental inversion. Again, kudos for them because the only other rate within the industrial sector that has been able to deliver this powerful momentum is actually Capital Land Sales Rate, one of our co holding as well as actually Maple Tree Industrial Trust, which only posted all this all round performance in this last set of third quarter 2023 results. And uh, if you look further, ladies and gentlemen, you notice that um, this is a my, my well, one of my interviews that I have at this time. So I specifically mentioned that REITs who prepare themselves around the gearing ratio of 40% by not exceeding it. You know, we tend to perform pretty well and ESR has done pretty well in actually lowering down their gearing ratio. Now, how was it they were able to do it? You can see, ladies and gentlemen, that after uh, uh, the, uh, at the beginning of the year, the, the management actually took the very difficult approach to actually consolidate a few, in this case, seven assets for divestment. In doing so, they raised about 355, 35 million and thereby lower it, bring its gearing ratio, which is above 40% previously. Now, it was actually a feedback that we gave management last year, and I'm just wholeheartedly very, very uh, relieved, as well as basically salute the management that they actually take into account shareholders' feedback, for example. And in this case, you can see that what they have done is that the rever rental reversion going forward is going to be the same as what they enjoyed last year. But more importantly is that the NPA margin will continue to remain rather strong. And the interest costs, you know, to a large extent have been, well, yes, our logistic trust will be one of those that will be least affected because 81.25% of their debt are actually on fixed rated basis. So even if interest rates don't come down quick, or stay at this current level, you notice that the incremental impact of higher interest costs on ESR basically is very, very minimal compared to the other nine industrial REITs. Um, more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, is that when you look at the valuation outlook, this is very interesting because even though they have about 7.6% of their portfolio with land leases of less than 10 years, you notice that they have helped valuations at firm level. In fact, their outlook is that they expect continued strong growth in market rents for new economy assets, thereby helping to mitigate the valuation impact of any cap rate expansion, especially with lend lease uh, 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 getting lesser, and therefore will actually be the case. And then the performer gearing ratio you can see now is even lower at 35% if you include the divestment proceeds that have yet to come in, which but you will see in a fourth quarter. Now, this basically puts ESR therefore in a very, very interesting scenario. We have a scenario, ladies and gentlemen, to sum it up. Sum it up you know, essentially, you have low gearing, there will fall lower, you have high proportion of fixed interest debt, in this case 81.2% going forward, they have low refinancing risk after the refinancing that they have done. Uh, what is very interesting is that ESR is now given an, in a particular option to do redeem its perks. In this case, there are perks that have two tranches, they are above 6%. So if um, they, are, they are able to actually get lending at less than 4%, it makes sense to actually redeem the perks. So in this respect, you notice that going forward, ESR exhibit strong operating metrics as we have all gone through, as well as balanced by good and resilient financial institution. And so 
You can see ladies and gentlemen, therefore, you know, that it is not difficult, therefore, to want to expect that the strong performance in the last one month that we have seen for ESR REIT logos, which uh, we first actually highlighted in our GCP global investment classes, are likely to continue. But once again, as I said, this is an investment, not an investment opinion. It is actually, you know, uh, what I actually have observed, you know, being uh, Singapore ex head of research, probably the youngest, and heading a couple of uh, Wall Street companies before I actually retired in my early 40s by making my millions in real estate investment trust. Hope that you can enjoy this week's video on ESR Read. Follow it closely, follow us closely, subscribe to our channel, and uh, looking forward to a wonderful, wonderful uh, Santa Claus rally. Last month, you know, we celebrated Thanksgiving, we had a turkey rally. This month, we're gonna celebrate Christmas, and we could possibly have a Christmas Santa Claus rally. So if you are looking at which reads to put into your bag, maybe ESR read, ESR logo read. We believe that the operating metrics, the financial metrics combined, and put them in a better position, then of course, it possibly could want render your kind attention. Till then, next week, subscribe. Adios. Mm -hmm.